Hey everyone, Rick Ritter here with WJZ. We are en route to Annapolis today for a firearms protective order hearing. This comes obviously two weeks or a little more than two weeks after the shooting in Florida that left 17 people dead. And then last week we had Corporal Mujahid Ramsden, the Prince George's County officer who was killed by a suspect that police say should not have had firearms. Now yesterday the governor, he did a big press conference talking about all this money he was going to be allocating to the school system in the state, but he also talked about this bill that he would support keeping firearms out of the hands of the mentally ill. Now this bill specifically, it says that if family or law enforcement, they present clear evidence to a judge showing that somebody uh, should not have a firearm, then that judge would have the privilege or the opportunity to take that firearm away from that individual for up to a year if law enforcement and the family uh, present strong evidence. So this is a big talker here in Annapolis. Uh, Prince George's County State's Attorney Angelo also Brooks. She will be in attendance today in support of this bill because of course, like I mentioned a little bit earlier, Corporal Mujahid Ramzadin was gunned down last week by a suspect that police say should not have had firearms and had three open warrants out for his arrest. So again, uh, a big talker here. and We're gonna have a lot more on the story throughout the day. You can follow along online for updates. And of course on WJZ tonight, we will be live from Annapolis at five and six o'clock.